Hi everybody, it's January 14, 2019. I want to thank my subscriber for sending along this article to me. Davis Officer's Killer says a note that he was being bombarded by ultrasonic waves. You know what's upsetting? When you read about an event that takes place and you read about the individual who, uh, well, in this case, it was the shooting of a Davis police officer, she, 22 years old. You read all of these articles, and you know that an awful lot of people believe what they read, and they don't know the individual. They don't know anything about the individual's past. They don't know and want to deny that, well, in this case, there are ultrasonic weapons that people are being targeted with. And yes, they can make people go and shoot people with these weapons that are invisible. Now, I have a playlist, and it is long. I've done a lot of research in this area. But when you face Americans who just think their opinion is swell, they think that these people are just crazy and delusional, and violent, and yada, yada, yada. It's, it's so upsetting because you know that this individual's truth is just being squelched. And everybody deserves truth. So Kevin, Kevin Douglas Limbaugh kills this 22-year-old police officer in Davis, California. And what comes out a few days later is the fact that he left a paper which was found face up on the bed of the gunman. Uh, I, that fact seems to be in every single article that I've read on this. Interesting. What? So what? It was found face up on the bed of the gunman. I guess they're trying to tell you that the gunman wanted people to know this. Okay. Now, unfortunately, we can't know anything is actually the truth, right? Okay. So what this paper said was, and here it is, the Davis Police Department has been hitting me with ultrasonic waves meant to keep dogs from barking. I notified the press, internal affairs, and even the FBI about it. I am highly sensitive to its effect on my inner ear. I did my best to appease them, but they have continued for years, and I can't live this way anymore. Citizen Kevin Limbaugh. All right. Well, all I can say is, if I were Kevin, uh, this is not what I would be writing, but I don't know Kevin. All right. I am highly sensitive to its effect on my inner ear. Really, Kevin, that's what you write. Um, I would be writing that these weapons are causing me to hear voices, causing me to go, tell, telling me to go kill somebody, which they can do. Barry Trower, a, was it the Royal Navy that he was in? He's a former specialist um, on microwave weapons. And he said in one video, which I tried to find last night and I could not. He said in one video, he said, oh, in three days, three days, with the use of microwave weapons, we can turn someone into an assassin. We know that this is possible. We've had our uh, uh, State Department embassy personnel in Cuba and a woman in China, an American, they were attacked with ultrasonic weapons. They all suffering symptoms of brain damage, some hearing loss, and a range of symptoms. You do the research and you will learn that these frequencies, either ultrasonic or microwave, or the range on the electromagnetic spectrum, they can change 
your physical, mental, emotional, psychic state. And all one need do is do the research. And by doing that research, then, well, we're still left with we don't know Kevin, we don't know his past, we don't know anything about him, we don't even know if this was actually the note that he left, maybe he left something else, maybe he didn't leave anything, we don't know anymore. The one thing that we do know is that he was 48 years old and he in September, due to um, he punching a co-worker in the face after a dispute. He was arrested and convicted in a battery case stemming from that incident. We don't know what the incident was about. So we can't even make a judgment on the fight that he had with a co-worker. Many men have fights with co-workers. Women have fights. Um, doesn't mean that they're delusional or deranged, but that was the only arrest that he had. His record was clear up until 48 years of age. And then he's exhibiting violence that's documented. And soon after, he kills a police officer, Natalie Corona in an ambush style attack. All right. Uh, he was told to turn over his guns. I guess he did because the guns that he was using were not registered in his name. All right. Um, what does the New York Post do? Man who allegedly shot cop ranted, ranted, about ultrasonic waves. They make him out to be a lunatic crazy. Ranted, they find a note face up on his bed. That's a rant. What did, was this a rant? Not at all. Not at all. So whoever wrote this article for the New York Post is, is clearly someone who just, I guess, wants his own perception, whatever triggered him into thinking that it was a rant, we get a piece of the author of this article. It says nothing about Kevin. It says a whole lot about Tamar Lappin. There was no rant. But we like the word rant because ranting means you're crazy, right? Something happened to this man that made him shoot the cop. All right. Well, we also have mental patients flooding emergency rooms. But I did a little bit of research on this, and they've been flooding uh, emergency rooms for many, many years. The extent to which ERs are now flooded with patients with mental illness is unprecedented. That comes from the chairman of the Department of Psychiatry at the School of Medicine at University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. There are ERs, uh, emergency rooms, now that are repeatedly on diversion, which means they can't see any more patients because they are, there are so many patients with mental illness or behavioral problems. In a 2017 government report, they found an overall number of emergency department visits increased from 15% to, uh, or it increased 15% uh, from 2006 to 2014. However, uh, the visits by patients with mental or substance use disorders increased 44%. Wow. We commonly see depression, anxiety, substance related conditions, suicidal behavior. Microwave frequency electromagnetic fields produce widespread neuropsychiatric effects, including depression. The impact of non-thermal, which means you're not going to feel 
heated up by the microwaves beaming from your cell phone, cell towers, Gwen towers, all the electronic gadgets, the Wi-Fi in your home, the smart meter radiating, dangerous frequencies inside your home. You don't feel heated up, though <clears throat> should a microwave frequency hit you, you could feel heated up. Suddenly your body temperature raises and you don't know why. You feel like you're having a hot flash, but you're a man. Or you're a woman who's not um, perimenopausal. It's that microwave hitting you. So many studies have shown that people experience symptoms from these microwaves that, uh, well, the most commonly reported changes in their sleep, sleep disturbance, insomnia, headache, depression, depressive symptoms, fatigue, tiredness, uh, concentration, problems, attention, dysfunction, memory changes, dizziness, in irritability, loss of appetite, body weight, uh, restlessness, anxiety, nausea, skin burning, tingling, um, dermal, dermical, dermatology problems, um, eczema, and skin rashes, and EEG changes. You know what is really upsetting is that we are so forced to live now this. We're just having to live this. And many can. Many really can. Many have already killed themselves. Many have died. Many have become just struggling every single day. Basic functioning. That in itself, depending on the person's I issues, their personal issues that they have not resolved or don't have any awareness of could make them, well, if their issue is violence, it could make them very angry and become violent. You know, if uh, it, it could exacerbate a lot of the behavioral problems that people just have, generally speaking. Um, all right, so this is a very good art. Well, it's actually a chapter of a book which is entitled uh, How the U.S. Government Won the Arms Race to Control Man. And if you go to chapter 9, you will find out a lot how they decoded the brain and the information was applied to intelligence tools and military technology in the 40s in the 1940s. Victims began reporting experimentation in the 60s. People have been targeted for a long time. Militaries, not just the uh, Soviet Union, but the US, targeting individuals, those individuals unaware that they were experimented upon to see if they could get people to feel certain things and then behave in accordance with what they're feeling. Um, let me just read a couple of highlights. Who controls the entire electromag uh, electromagnetic spectrum will dominate the world. That was a quote from a biophysical researcher from the Soviet Union, who controls the entire electromagnetic spectrum will dominate the world. We've heard our former president Johnson say, who controls the weather will control the world. Who controls the electromagnetic spectrum can control the weather, but can control every, every individual on the planet as well. The Soviet design of mind control technology includes principles of lasers, 
particle beams and nonlinear electromagnetic pulse effects. Your cell phone poses, uh, pulses electromagnetic frequencies. The cell towers that now um, litter the, the landscape of this country pulse microwave frequencies, electromagnetic frequencies. So do Gwen Towers. So does Wi-Fi. So does, well, your computer screens and your TV screens and all electro magnetic gadgets, your appliances, new appliances today, everything is pulsing at all of us. And those pulses have a severe detrimental effect on our emotions, our physical health, our mental well-being, our psyche, but it can also have an effect of bringing a man to kill someone and then kill himself. Um, so what else do we have? Uh, phased, <laughs> phased array radar. So many of us have been posting on uh, the high resolution, the NEXRAD sites, the Doppler radar sites, and showing how they are emitting these spikes that pulse and they're um, circular in, na in nature. Well, circular, but they don't have to be because they're directional. So if they wanted this these extremely low frequencies to just go in a eastern direction, they can do that. If they want it to go in a full 360, they can do that. But they can also, and this is the technology that exists, they can lock on to an individual. We are antennas. So we are uh, these walking antennas. And these frequencies, we're pulling them towards us. So how a victim can be targeted and tracked can be explained with this technique, the phased array radar technology. Um, the antenna is capable of locking onto a target and can track objects using computers and inverse scattering computations within a fraction of a second. So they can lock on to any of us and track us. You don't have to be, you know, nearby anymore. Someone sitting at a computer can be tracking every which way we go. And they can be targeting that individual with these ultrasonic waves. And yeah, they can transform that individual into someone completely different. If a person gives off and identifiable electromagnetic signal, then, then an antenna can lock onto and track the target 24 hours a day. All right, um, manipulation of feelings could be done via electromagnetic signals. Um, if you read this entire chapter of this book, you'll understand who Penfield was, but Penfield described the experiments in the 1930s of stimulating areas of the cortex while surgically treating epileptic patients and patients would describe reliving a previous memory, a flashback, or smelling certain smells and feeling physical sensations. The process for target, targeting areas of the brain for rage, happiness, and many other feelings most likely have been located Manipulation of every nerve in the body can be explained via electromagnetic signals to specific locations of the brain. 
Well, if you want to read this study, Brainwaves Analysis of Positive and Negative Emotions, the encoded characteristic brainwaves of positive and negative emotion are compared for their difference. It shows eight different positive and negative emotions can be effectively identified by the proposed emotional brainwave digital encoding technique and the technique is promising for developing future emotion identification techniques. Remember that brain project? Obama's the brain mapping the brain project? They have the brain. They know the different codes of different emotions and they can target individuals to get them to feel a certain way. You know, this was out years ago, right? MIT. Moral judgments can be altered by magnets, by disrupting brain activity in a particular region. Neuroscientists can sway people's views of moral situations. So we have the, the moral relativists who decide for themselves their behavior and whether their behavior was moral or not. And well, their behavior comes up moral 100% of the time when it's so not, right? But with these frequencies that they can make moral judgments about other people, um, and those judgments can actually be artificially induced. Do you know how dangerous this world has become? It has become extremely dangerous. Because we're not sure anymore if what we are feeling is, well, based on our own emotionality or has it been induced. You have to really know yourself very, very well to understand that your thoughts and your judgments are actually your own or have they been induced. What you feel, is it induced or is it due to the circumstances of your life or is it like you know, an appropriate emotion due to what it is that you are living, the experience that you're having, one has to really know themselves very well in order to discern. Because the changes that can occur and can be induced, can be brought about to occur in an individual can be so subtle that they don't know if it's, they, they just think the thoughts are their own. Effects of pulsed high frequency electromagnetic fields on human sleep. Okay, so these pulsed frequencies are having a tremendous effect on uh, sleep patterns, causing insomnia, causing people to wake up every couple of hours, causing uh, people to not have any REM stage, that deep sleep necessary to heal the body. That effect alone could cause an awful lot of craziness. When people can't get the necessary, the, uh, necessary sleep they need, they start acting out, they become irritable, they become depressed, they don't feel well, a whole lot of stuff. The ripple effect of that effect alone is tremendous. But then think about, we live now in a, an environment that's saturated with these microwaves pulsing at us. And they can cause a whole range, a myriad myriad effects and this will never change because we just don't have the numbers to change it but yeah uh, the REM sleep and 
how necessary it is for the brain to process properly and for it to function properly, for our learning processes, extremely important. Um, I want to show you this. This was a video that was posted by Deep in the World Word. And Deep in the Word, you left a comment below my video saying, why aren't I approving your comments? And none of your comments ended up in spam. I didn't have to approve them. They were right underneath my video. So I don't understand a lot of the comments that I got. I just don't understand. So, you know, when communication breaks down, it isolates. It's just, it's kind of like an isolating um, mechanism. Your communication is very, very important. And, well, the presumptions that people make that someone is doing something. Um, and, you know, here it was, I'm not approving comments when I didn't even have to. But even when comments do end up in spam and I approve them, I then see them back in spam. Um, yeah, there's a communication breakdown. It's going to get worse and worse. But this is in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And it's a great catch. I hope that you come over here and circulate this video. Uh, don't circulate mine. Circulate. Just click on the link below and circulate deep in the word because this is what he caught. I don't know what we're witnessing here, but we've got multiple. That's crazy, there's like, hold on, let me get him back in here. Come on, camera. I don't know if you can see that, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and there's one big one right in the middle. Oh, come here, there he is. And they just turn. Stupid camera now. That I guess he's out, but let me back it out again. Look at that. Looky there. Okay, so interesting that we have here what appears to be six military jets leaving these uh, quote unquote contrails that are not dissipating, but the middle one here, the third, um, cats making noise, all right, uh, has a whole different composition to it. Why are you going to tell me that there's a, a different um, atmospheric effect right in that area, not over here? I read the comments, and one of the commenters wrote, it's military jets refueling. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten comments like that, too. What are they spraying? Well, uh, they're spraying an awful lot of chemicals and heavy metals that affect how we think and how we behave, how we feel. So this is, I'm just going to to show you that, you know, I found it interesting that suddenly that storm, um, well, it disappeared. It just disappeared. But we're left with thick cloud covering, but I'm just showing you right here off the coast of Mexico. I mean, really? Are you going to tell me that it's natural clouds? Really? No. All right. Um, but I came over here to look at the satellite because, my God, uh, the storm had that was traveling up. And, of course, it had a tail. A lot of our storms now have these tails that come. that The tail is kind of like hanging out in the gulf. And then you have the spreading of a huge storm, snow and sleet and 
and then it, this was two days ago and I came back to IntelliCast to look to see what was happening with it and half of it had just been I guess blown apart and then I went on IntelliCast early this morning the only place getting rain California no other place in the country everything was okay gone but I wanted to go to the satellite because we've got this thick cloud coverage that we've had for days on end. This is a whole new winter here in South Carolina that I've experienced. And I'm telling you, just that alone really can affect people. And it is affecting me. I, I feel quite depressed. I am, um, yeah, it's very difficult. So here's this thick cloud coverage, right? Uh, I guess, but it seems to disappear. The loop, it, it's disappearing? Well, it's not disappearing outside, that's for sure, because it's still there. And boy, does it affect the sound of life. That thick coverage, the sound, it's almost like everything has been dulled. Like the volume of life has been really turned down. Very weird. But yeah, so, oh, little spots, great. That just developed. Um, the use of the radar, Doppler radar, and the extremely low frequencies, you know, the Gwen Towers, um, that alone can really affect entire populations of a country, regions of that um, country. And yes, they can target individuals with ultrasonic weapons. These people are not crazy who are saying that they are targeted. They are telling the truth. And it's unfortunate that they're surrounded by people who just don't believe them. It is so horrible to do that to people. To just not believe them. Nothing can be worse, especially when you're experiencing your life being destroyed by others and then you're surrounded by people who just don't believe you and think you're crazy. All of the extremely low frequencies, well I'm not going to go through them all, but as you can see all of the very defined lines, yes weather is being controlled by man. Extremely low frequencies can steer weather fronts, can intensify them, can break them up, can can hold them in you know a certain region for days on end actually. So just a quick look at our <laughs> This is January 12th, and this was our country. So, I mean, most of the country, we had a painted sky. No sun for you. I am so tired of people controlling everything. <clears throat> controlling everything. And then we just have to live it. I'm so tired of it. But, yeah, you can see the chemtrails, the, the spraying of the chemicals and the heavy metals to create cloud coverage. Man now decides when we can have sun and when we can't. This was uh, the 13th. Not a whole lot better. And I guess the 14th, well, oh, they do have the 14th up now. Still, manufactured clouds sitting over us. I need sun. You know, so many of us are really living very, very difficult lives now. And <clears throat> there are these little things that might lift us up a bit. And when someone else is destroying those little things, it's very, very upsetting. I'll link below to everything.